where they are. Good morning, good morning, and welcome to In My Own Words with your host, Kimberly. I'm real. And I have, I don't know what to call you. What, what should I call you? My special guest. Your special guest? Okay, special guest, little brother. Yeah, that works. Special okay, special. my special guest, my little brother, and I, I'll let him give you his wonderful name. <laughs> hey, uh, listeners out there, my name is Trapier, and I'm glad to be here. See, I would have messed it up. <laughs> <laughs> But anyway, thank you so very much for tuning in. For those of you that have already tuned in as well as commented, I see Tracy, um, Candy, Courtney, I think Arthur, and I'm missing one name, I think, up there but because it's blocked. I can't see it. But anyway, thank you so very much for taking the time out of your busy morning and the folks on Instagram. Hello, how are you? Thank you so much for tuning in as well. Um, first, I always start my, my show, Little Brother, by uh, talking about the weekend and hoping that everybody had a wonderful, blessed, outstanding weekend. Um, but on a sad note, I, I want to say that I send my condolences and my heartfelt prayers to a family. Her name was Chelsea, and I don't know her, never met her, um, just had seen pictures of her, but her and her three children... Well, first of all, she was very big in, in the community in the Atlanta area as far as filming and things like that. And she was an actress. And so I've seen so much coverage. I would like to send out my prayers to the family and say that I'm so, so very sorry for your loss. And for all those from the Atlanta area that will be traveling to Texas for her homegoing celebration, um, I wish you safe travel to and from. And so, um, so how was your weekend? Trap year. Um, my weekend has been smooth in between uh, managing social media accounts and school work. You know. It's been pretty fun. Pretty fun? Yeah. And working at night. And working at seeing night. Seeing cars about to get stolen. Mm -hmm. <laughs> All that good stuff. <laughs> but um, I, my weekend was uh, kind of busy. I worked on Friday, which is something that I never do. Fridays belong to Kimberly. Mm. I do a little bit on early Friday with my kids, but Friday nights normally belong to myself. But I did go to work, and it, it was a smooth night, so that, that was good. But the reason, um, hi, Ray, I don't normally touch political topics on my show. I don't normally touch uh, any uh, racial, I want to say, topics on my show. But this particular topic dealing with Bill Cosby, I felt the need to, um, for myself, I felt the need to uh, have a show topic on it today. And I try to never, ever do a show whereas I haven't experienced it, if it's a deep personal situation, because I can't give you in my own words if I haven't experienced it for myself. I can invite someone on my show that has a business, and we can talk about the business and what motivated them to start a business, but something as touching as the situation that Bill Cosby is in and the ladies and what they went through, I can speak on that. So you did a little research, and uh, I I'll let you start out by you know, telling what you think and what you researched on it, and then I'll fill in with, with my situation. But I will say to those that are listening, this is coming from myself, not the station, not no one else. So please don't look at it um, any other way than coming from myself. And I don't mean to offend anyone with what I say, what I say but I'm going to give it to you on how I feel. And you're more than welcome. Anyone that would like to call in, I welcome you to call in. The phone number, and I will repeat it again, and it should be on the uh, screen, but the number is 770 988 Six four six one. Go ahead. All right. Um, from what I understand about Bill Cosby, and, and from what I know about him, just watching him grow up, you know, he was he was a pretty uh, important person to the community. To the community, uh, he was well, speaking for myself. In in some way or form, he raised a lot of us. Um, mm -hmm. His show that that aired on TV a lot of times uh, gave a lot of young kids hope. Uh, gave a lot of young kids uh, an idea of what a functioning household looks like or should be ran like or some variation of what that should be uh, ran like. And um, up until 
these, this uh, latest situation, uh, I've always had a positive image of him. Okay. However, uh, after hearing about this controversial uh, topic, um, I can't say that my opinion has changed too much, but there is a question, question mark there. Right, right. Um, and I feel like it's like that with, with any person that you feel can do no wrong to some point. Um, I don't know the man person. I've never had dinner with him or anything like that. But um, just from the image that was portrayed on television, you know, in my mind, I was like, there, there's no way. Let me ask this. Courtney, can you hear us? Because some uh, Courtney said that the sound stops. So can everyone hear us okay at the moment? Okay, go ahead. Um, but yeah, um, so to some degree, in my mind, I just automatically assumed and just kind of like waived uh, all of the guilt that the world was placing on Bill Cosby. Uh, and that's partially because of me seeing him on TV and right, thinking right. one or having one particular image of him. Um, but as far as the, the ladies that came forward with their accusations and the proof that they had or uh, um, the proof that they are trying to use to claim that these things really did happen. And it, it definitely, it definitely, okay. Um, the proof that the ladies have, you know, it definitely makes you or made me look at it twice, look at the situation twice and say, well, you know, maybe my role model did mm -hmm. dot, 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 or maybe right. he is capable of dot, right, dot, right, dot, right. yeah. Um, but it's just interesting because some some uh, other controversial things that hasn't made national news has came out, such as uh, after with a couple of the women, they admitted, if you go read the transcripts that um, I found them online, uh, a couple of women admitted that after the alleged incidents, um, they still hung out with Bill Cosby. They still talked to him like a regular person. Um, they also accepted money from him, um, and they also accepted uh, other gifts or exchanges mm -hmm. of service. And I just find that to be a little controversial in, a, in addition to the original controversy because it's just like, well, I feel that if somebody did something like that. Why you know, would I want to hang around? Why them? would I still hang around? Them? Why would I accept? It, to me, it sounds like murder is premeditated. Hmm. I, you know, he's admitted to it. I've got him to admit to it. So I'm going to still do this and I'm going to get this money and he'll think that it's okay. But I'm still going to be jotting, taking notes on how I'm, in the end I'm going to get him. Hmm. I'm going to bring him down. Scandalous. Exactly. <laughs> Scandalous. And, and, and my thing is, if you felt that way about him, why continue to go around him? That's number one. Why you continue to go around him? Now, see, I'll be honest. I want to do the topic, but I, I, I didn't want to go and research and have all this in my head because I, you said you were going to research mm -hmm. it, so I want to kind of feed off the information that you were going to have. But for me... If this person did this to me, I wouldn't want to go back around this person. And then for the lady that he paid the money to and to keep you quiet, but you still came out? Yeah, that's, that's, it's, it just makes you wonder. It's like, well, what's really going on? Right. Because the media is only spinning one version of the story. And one thing that I have heard more than three times is that he was about to buy... NBC, mm -hmm. and that's when all this came out. I guess because they thought he was going to be larger than, you know, he was already larger than life, so I guess they thought he was going to be larger than life itself. I don't know. That's just something I'm, I just thought of. But it, why all of a sudden now? And then, you know, they always say you, you don't worry about the next person, but you have all these other people that have been through this and nothing has happened to them. Mm -hmm. So what? And then the judge said that it doesn't matter where you live, what you drive, your status in life, you know, you can't escape acts like this. Okay, but what about the other ones? Mm -hmm. That's what I don't understand. And my thing is I had something happen to me as a child. Th this, is, this is my topic and why I want to speak on it. Mm -hmm. I had some things happen to me as a child. As a child. Mm -hmm. Okay. When I got of age, to do something, which it was probably 10 years ago now that I really started talking about it. My thing is, I started talking about it to help me, mm -hmm. to release me to um, where I could, it says the video stopped, where I could keep uh, going, I have to get it from here. 
where I could keep going and and my my mind would be um, freed and I would find peace and all of that within myself. So the reason why I started talking about it was for those reasons. But I didn't want to bring anyone down. Mm -hmm. I, I didn't want to make anybody else shame. I don't want to corrupt anyone else's life. So that's why I'm not understanding why would this person wait to do this and, and corrupt someone else um, of life at this time. All these years have passed. I, so that's that's what I don't understand, and why we it, when it, the difference in them doing it and myself doing it is because they're grown. Mm -hmm. My situation was childhood. Mm -hmm. I freed myself in childhood, but they could have freed themselves long before now. So I don't understand. And with everything that you just said and all the evidence, it was planned. That that's my thought. Yeah, it, it does come off as it, as it was a planned thing. Right. So, I mean, that's that's what I'm not understanding. And I'm listening, and, and excuse me for a second. You know it stopped over here. Okay. Okay. Um, and what gets me, I love my sisters, my queens. Please don't take that the wrong way. But sometimes I think when, when, when we jump on, the, when y'all, because I can really say I don't jump on everybody's bandwagon. That's something I stopped some years ago. I used to. I don't jump on every bandwagon just because I'm probably get some people to dislike me. Women rights. I don't do that. If it's not for my right mm -hmm. mind and my right thinking, I don't do it. And I feel like this lady, you were grown. If you wanted to stop him, if you wanted to hurt him, you could have done it then, even if you had to wait two, three years. But why you wait all these years yeah, to shame this man? Years. Yeah, to shame this man. Yeah, that's a good little minute. Who does that? Half these women around here could shame their husbands, but won't shame their husband. But you'll go and shame some somebody else that you could have done. Especially, it goes back, especially to the lady that he paid off. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it's just it's, it makes you it makes you uh, wonder. It's like, well, why did you accept the money? If you were really hurt, why did right. you accept money? Right. If this really did happen, why did you accept money? Right. And it and. You, uh, we also see these these type of scenarios and situations with other big name people, such as uh, Michael Jackson. Now, that's a very controversial topic, and I'm going to state my personal opinion on it. But Michael Jackson was supposed to buy Sony. Well, I don't. We talked about this on the van at work. I don't. Me personally, I don't feel. I I looked, and that I kind of researched Michael Jackson's childhood. Mm -hmm. He really didn't have a childhood. Yeah, he was raised. In I the looked industry. at how his father treated him. His father was so busy doing whatever else he was doing, even in Michael's adulthood, that he still did not have the time to give him the bond that Michael wanted. So, from my opinion, Michael found that bond in these kids. Mm -hmm. Just so happened they happened to be boys. Mm -hmm. But I don't think he was messing with these boys. I think he was wanting a the child to have a bond, or maybe he was feeling he could give him that bond that his father didn't give him. The parents knew, you know, if you really felt that your son was being bothered, why you kept sending him over there? Yeah. Why, you, why, why repeatedly? Just like the ladies, mm -hmm. you just kept going repeatedly. Repeated. So I think that was another thing with Michael Jackson. I think it was a setup. Yeah. Now you look at R. Kelly. Sorry to bring his name up, but you look at R. Kelly. They have videos, yeah. and, but they still can't touch him. Yeah. There's, he, now they're here, not there, because I don't touch. I mm -hmm. definitely don't touch that one. But so when I look at now that you mentioned Michael Jackson, it was a setup because those ladies could have pulled their kids back. But not only did she didn't pull him back at first, other women let their children go over there, so they wanted a piece of the pie too. Mm -hmm. Come on. And then you sit there and say, hey, nah, you're not sleeping in the bed with me. So that part, once the child said that they were actually sleeping in the bed with Michael Jackson, they should have stopped it from the get-go. Yeah. But what did they do? They just kept letting it go. So I don't, I don't, I don't agree with that. Go well, ahead. See, what you going to say? No matter what situation we bring up, the question of motive always comes into play. So once you found out that your son was sleeping in the bed, in the same bed as Michael Jackson, what did you do? You continue letting go over. And then why? You get what I'm saying? Because you you were setting him up. Same thing with the in the Bill Cosby situations. Okay, Bill Cosby allegedly did these things. 
but you continued to go around them. Right. You accepted money. Right. Why? And, what, what and, was and your said you, you were going to leave it alone. Right. And then he admitted to a, a part of it. Yeah. But you still continued to go back over there. And then what'd you say? They were saying they were acting friendly and yeah, all this stuff. So, I mean. I don't, I don't know. I don't get that. And it's also it also came out that the alleged medication that he allegedly forced her to take, from what I understand, she she took the medication with consent. She was complaining about a migraine or something like that, and the medication that was given to her was for that cause. See. So it, there's there's a lot of discrepancies when you know when you actually pay attention to the facts and what's going on, rather than just hearing. No offense, just hearing that a woman was. Um, taken advantage of in some form, I, you know, I would urge everyone to always, always get all of the facts and judge based off of the principles of the fact, not just the fact that, okay, well, I'm a man and I'm just going to, you know, as I did when I first heard the story, I was like, well, I'm a male. I, did, I identify with Bill Cosby. Right. I like him, so I don't think he can do this, you know, but that may, that may, my, my personal opinion may have been contrary from the actual truth of the situation. So it, it's just real important that, you know, we as listeners and we as people who pay attention um, to celebrities and big name people, it, it's just important to know that we're not always getting the whole story. It's exactly. also important to know that the media spins whatever story that they want to spin in whatever way that they want to spend it. And we as, you know, the people who are viewing or listening, we, we only get whatever they want to spin to us. Right. And that's true. And... and I don't, I don't I don't know. I'm just I'm just really amazed at how like I said I have read some of the comments when I was sitting at the house yesterday and it, the the broadcast came on and I even shared it on my page. I was just really surprised. Like I said, I I understand especially if you've been in that situation. I understand how the women feel. Don't get me wrong, I understand. But at at some point, if it wasn't the first or second point, you knew to, to stop it, mm -hmm. you know. Even at my age, when when I went through what I went through, I stopped it. Mm -hmm. You know, I was scared to say anything, but I threatened the person, yeah. so I had it stopped. Mm -hmm. You see what I'm saying? So I just I don't understand. And like I said, in my adulthood, where I'm I'm very mindful of what I'm doing. I'm I should be at a mature age to know what I'm doing. Why did I continue? Why would I continue to go around this person? And I mm -hmm. feel this person is harming me. Mm -hmm. Why would I do that? What reason would I feel the need to keep going around this person other than to, to gain something from them? Exactly. No matter how you spend it, the, exactly. Your motive That's just the like person, yeah. women that go keep going around sugar daddies. No, they don't like them, mm -hmm. but they keep going around because they're getting something from mm -hmm. them. You feel like there was something to gain, or you want to capitalize exactly. off of your misfortune, at, alleged misfortune at the time. So I don't. I just, you know, like I said, I walk alone, stand alone, doesn't bother me. So I, I'm pretty sure I may have some out there, women out there, queens, sisters, I'm sorry. I just don't understand it. So for those that are just jumping on the bandwagon, I'm not saying those that have meaning and have cause to feel and think the way you feel. I'm, I'm talking about those that jumping on the bandwagon just to, say, just to have a voice with the other women. I, I feel those are the ones that are wrong to me. Those are the ones that are wrong uh, to me. I don't understand it. <laughs> but, I mean, like I said, if anyone feels uh, that you want to call in, you're more than welcome to call in. Uh, the number is 770-988-6461. Um, what's another, something else that you found out about it when you were researching it? Well, I was trying to connect to the Internet just now, but I'm having a little difficulty, but... Overall, um, the, the things that just stood out to me the most were their motives. Like, I, I, I don't understand how someone can do something wrong to you and then you continue to go around them or you continue to accept favors or you continue to uh, receive, whether it's attention, verbal conversation. You know, like, I, I, just, I just personally don't understand that, that aspect of the entire situation, and I feel that the situation is a lot deeper than, than what's being told to us. You know, like, we, we all have an opinion about it. We all going to, you know, feel how we feel about it. But at the end of the day, who really knows what's going on except for Bill Cosby and those women? Right. That's that's true, too. But how after, after you read up on it, where did you lean more so? 
I mean, could could you take a side of the either one of the ladies? Because you're a man, could you take, you know, because sometimes we, we lean only towards the women or we lean only towards the man. Could you really see her point of view? Oh, well, so throughout throughout my research, I've tried to remain neutral, and I kind of still want to remain neutral even, even in my answer that I will give you right now, simply because I don't want to take away from what these women are uh, alleging that happened to them. Right. Because I wasn't there, so I can't say, well, that didn't happen to you. Right. Or that, even if it did happen, that it wasn't that bad. Or, although this happened, I don't feel you should be accepting money. Like, you know, I can't, I can say that because you're asking my opinion, but I can't say that as, as that's law, that's fact. But just considering that those let me, okay women, let me put it this way before you did your research mm-hmm. and you just heard a little bit of like what I did were you like wow he oh of course I was like no nah, Bill Cosby wouldn't do that that's, that's my role model there's no way <laughs> I was I was actually denying the allegations I was like you know these people just making up things Bill Cosby is on his way to doing bigger and better things he's been a pillar of the entire world let alone my personal community for ages so right. I just I just personally did not believe that any of those things could be true, even remotely. Now, do you feel that they should have stripped him of everything? No. No. Uh, <laughs> again, this is my personal opinion. I do not feel that they should have stripped him of everything. I feel that everything should have been dealt with in respect to whatever's going on. Okay. So if, if there's a sexual allegation that's being made, let the courts handle that. But should that affect his legacy that he's been building for over 20 years i don't i don't feel that you know i don't i don't feel that he should lose any airtime on tv any uh sponsors or any or anything like i don't feel he should lose any of that because unless there's a direct connection between the money that was made or the whatever benefits that was made at the time and um what the ladies are claiming that they gained from it or lost from the situation but other than that, no, I, I feel like those are separate things. The world sees it differently, right, however, right. but I feel that those are separate things. Okay, um, I, I do thank you all so much for tuning in at the moment, but I, I need to take a break, and it only lasts about two or three minutes, and we'll be right back with you. Once again, I do apologize, and thank you so much, and hopefully you'll tune back in. <laughs> To my Lord, you know I keep my soul, right. and I walk by faith and not by sight. I got what it takes to win a fight. I've been through the storm and the pain. The devil thought he won, that's a shame. I got victory in Jesus' name. I got victory in Jesus' name. I'm on a mission for Christ. I'm representing for Christ. Yeah, yeah. I am a witness for Christ, so I'ma keep living for Christ. Yeah, yeah. I'm moving forward. I ain't looking back. I let go of the past and I pick up the slack. They wanted the truth, so I'm giving them facts, and they really don't get no really than. I am living proof of what God can do when you trust in Him. And when everything start falling down, I look up to Him. In the world surrounded by evil, the devil is leading my people astray. So I pray that my people take heed when I speak, cause I really have something to say. Do you know for sure that you would go to heaven if it was time for you to go away? Do you really believe that Jesus died on the cross, was buried and rose on the third day? If you believe in your heart and confess with your mouth, then congratulations on being saved. But if you're still playing games, then you better get right with Christ before it gets too late. I'm on a mission for Christ, I'm representing for Christ I am Positive vibes only, I ride with that Bible and I keep it on I do I'm on a mission for Christ, I'm representing for Christ Jesus Christ Positive vibes only, I had to stop it, they got for the moment hey. Hey. Mission for Christ, mission for Christ I'm on a mission for Christ, I'm representing for Christ Yeah, yeah Mission for Christ, mission for Christ I am a witness for Christ, so I'm gonna keep living for Christ 
positive vibes only I ride with my Bible and I keep it on me I had to stop and thank God for the moment Cause he did not have to wake me up this morning I'm counting my blessings and hoping that I can deliver this message Do you have reception? I feel the presence of the Lord manifesting Where is heaven? I'm headed in that direction Following Jesus, no need to complain This is all for a reason I had to be patient and wait for my season I set the trends, I don't play, follow the leader Preaching that road like a preacher Cause I'm trying to reach out my people and let them know Don't be present, just let it go I am blessed from my head to toe I got God with me everywhere I go Tell him, bro, no negativity in his vicinity We only feeding off of righteous energy Put your hands up if you feeling me You can achieve anything if you just believe Don't give up on your dreams, I promise it's worth it That's why I'm constantly working My conscience was lurking for innocence I was guilty of many sins Then I remember who died for them He says, and I do not condemn I need you to be confident Now don't go in this world and try to do the opposite You just be true and stay positive And watch how we maneuver through obstacles We came to overcome, keeping faith in the Holy One And if we are the only ones representing for Christ Then that means we the chosen ones I'm on a mission for Christ, I'm representing for Christ Positive vibes only, I ride with that Bible and I keep it on I'm on a mission for Christ, I'm representing for Christ Positive vibes only, I had to stop it, thank God for the moment hey. Mission for Christ, mission for Christ I'm on a mission for Christ, I'm representing for Christ Yeah, yeah. Mission for Christ, mission for Christ I am a witness for Christ, so I'ma keep living for Christ Yeah, yeah So very much for tuning back in. I do apologize, but sometimes breaks are needed. But uh, for those of you, um, I don't know if I have new people, but we were discussing the Bill Cosby outcome of his trial and the ladies um, that accused him, and I guess he was found guilty of doing all those acts. I know he admitted to at least one. Um, so we were just giving our point of view, and I was also waiting on a, uh, another guest to come on in. You can come on. And so, did you find what you were looking for? Mm -hmm. Okay. So you can go ahead. Well, hello, brother. Hello. How are you? I'm doing good. How are you? I'm good. You can introduce yourself. My name is Reds. Come up. My bad. My name is Reds. DJ Reds, um, talking out radios on, um, all that good stuff. Yeah. 
So um, as I told you yesterday <laughs> when I invited you that we were going to touch the topic about Bill Cosby and uh, what has happened. Yes, you can lock it. And talk about what happened and the ladies that were, you know, that accused him. And we also uh, spoke on the lady. And like I, I admitted, I really didn't do a lot of research on it because I don't normally do these topics. But I just felt the need to really touch base um, on this topic today. So were, are you up to date, up to par on what's going on with the Bill Cosby situation? Yeah, he tried to slip a couple of people some Spanish fly, and things went crazy. Drugs, alcohol, sex. That's what happened. It happens. In the industry, it happens. Um, she knew she was ma he, he was married. If it was an invite, she shouldn't have went. She went. I'm sure he didn't take the pill and shove it down on her mouth. No, Lord. What, when you go to a party, do they accept drinks from people that you don't know? No. Thank you. First rule, 101, female intervention. Okay. Open and shut <laughs> case with me. I mean, I mean, what? You come up to the room at what? Ask Mike Tyson. Come up to the room, 3 o'clock in the morning, to what? Talk about your career? No. Okay. Don't talk about, okay. I don't know. Maybe you could be talking about a new deal. No, <laughs> you're not talking about nothing. You're talking about... Watch your platform. I didn't say anything. Okay. <laughs> well, that's that's what we were talking about today, too. You know, because I, as as I was telling little brother here, I disagree with the fact that she knew what was going on. So why did she continue to go? That's the, you know, continue to go to the room, continue to go around him, continue to befriend him. I, I don't I don't understand that part. She was not like a child, was not in a child's place. She's an adult. She could have stopped it. She could have said no. She didn't have to continue to go and entertain him on any level. But she continued to do so, so I feel that it was a setup. And then we also were discussing the fact that why all of a sudden you waited so long and then they want to strip him, strip him of everything that he worked so hard for. You know, so I, I disagree with that as well. Well, I mean, you got to look at it from both ends. I mean, I feel what you're saying, but we all know what it is. What is it? Don't come up to nobody's room at 3 o'clock in the morning mm -hmm. talking about your career. Anything you could talk about at 3 o'clock in the morning, you could talk about at 2 p.m. In the afternoon, public setting. So do you think it was a setup as well? Well, of course. I mean, what, on who's She tried it back then. It didn't happen. And now she waited all the way now. Okay, when you said she tried it back then, she... I'm sure she said something or thought about saying something. Throughout the industry, it's been rumored to be uh, this type of activity mm -hmm. to be going on with Bill Cosby. So you hit before... But it's not just Bill Cosby. Right? It's his it's not, it's not. It's the culture. It is the culture of the business. The culture of the business needs to change. If the culture of the business doesn't change, then you're going to keep coming across these. What would make any human being feel that free to just do the things that have been done? Grab a woman by a vagina. Well, by her thing. Mm-hmm. Grope, say inappropriate things. Women on the same um, level to other women, to men. It's the culture. Once you get in there and you make a certain amount of money, it's been said that you can do, feel, and act any type of way that you want. So if you see somebody they look good to you, instead of trying to go the normal way about doing it and having to face with rejection, you say, hey, yo, look. It's what it is. You really can't act. Nor can you sing. But I tell you one thing. Okay. And that and that and that part you're true. I mean, it's true. It has been going on for a long time. But I guess from what I used to entertain, you know, be around, it was more so you heard about it more so in the music industry than you did coming 
from the level of actors and no, new. No. I said where I was, inter- I didn't entertain in with actors and news people. I was around the music scene. I was at the studios. So you heard of different people doing stuff to get um, in this group or get a deal or whatever. I mean, you heard that even way back when we heard of someone getting in TLC by way of whatever way. Mm. You know, so it, it mm. that, that was, you heard of I heard of it back then, but now the wide range of people that they're saying did this and that, it still goes back to what I said. Why didn't the female didn't come forward before now? Why you wait now to tarnish someone's reputation? But the powers that be are are very powerful, and they were more powerful then than they are now. Say that again? The powers that be. Oh, okay, okay. If a woman tried to defame someone, and they were well-liked throughout the Hollywood Seen gets pushed under the rug. Mm-mm. So, what you think? I completely uh, agree with that. <clears throat> we didn't know Rock Hudson was gay until he died of AIDS. Everybody thought Rock Hudson was a stick man. But. And he was gay. There's a lot of guys out there that we think, and it was. Shh, 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 we don't want to tarnish their. Okay, so that's what I'm saying. If you if you go all this time, why now? Why now? See, it's you're, a different you're, time. you're you're it's making the, it's, it's you're the making too. a. I understand what you're saying. People are listening to women. It's becoming an issue. Okay, so if a man ha- came out, we 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 are not gonna listen to the man. Yeah, Terry Crews said yeah, somebody grabbed grab my junk. Terry Crews said somebody okay, grabbed Terry my Terry Crews said who? A lady or a man? A man. Okay, okay, but I'm talking but about... Who, but it doesn't matter. But Okay, it that's what I'm matter. saying. So what if it was vice versa? It. it goes back to the... It's not supposed to happen. When you're working at, at McDonald's, if you want to get bumped up to manager, you don't think, well, I may have to do something with my manager. No. You just think, hey, my, quality, my, my, my skill set should put me there. Just like in music and entertainment. Your skill set... Set. There's a lot of people out here okay, that shouldn't so, be where they at. Okay, so that's my thing. She goes back to what I said earlier. She knew what she was doing. Right. Absolutely. My thing is everybody that's jumping on the bandwagon said, oh, he deserved this, he deserved that. I, I personally, I don't, if he deserved time, I don't think he deserved time behind bars. Mm. I think he's at that age where he's really not doing a lot out in life. Mm, we don't know. Then he can't. We have a call? Mm-mm. Oh. We don't know. Then he can't. He's, he's not really out. Do you think he's really out there doing a lot? I'm going to say, what is he going to do? We right? don't know. Like, and then he can't, <laughs> he can't really see. He's an actor, so my first thing, of all. We don't even know if he's blind. So. <laughs> I'm going to tell you the truth. That's how I feel. He's an actor. He's been doing this all his life. If you've been doing something all your life, you could pretend to be blind for 15, 20 minutes. You can sit in the courtroom and daydream and act not, like you're not you, paying you attention. You better not. I'm not serious. <laughs> Who says Ray Charles was blind? Stevie Wonder blind. Where's his glasses? He's not wearing no glasses. He does not have a cane. You're going to a whole nother, a you, you're going to a whole nother I'm show. I'm just trying to tell you. I need proof. He shouldn't have done what he did. He shouldn't have had to. He's America's dad. Anybody would have gave him a little something. Yeah, put a little bit of Spanish fly in somebody's drink. It happens, though. I don't think he should do time in the prison system. <laughs> Why not? He was talking about that fly mess. And I think that he could. Let's go back they to should when he was just talking about that fly mess. Young men, pull up your pants. Well, now you're going to have to pull up your pants. You're really going to have to pull up your pants, Bill. You're going to have to pull up your pants. See, Pamela says. You're right. Why did she wait 20 to 30 years to say something now? She should have said something when it happened. What if she did? What if she did? She did. Nobody say, was saying Wait a minute. Listen. She didn't say something right then. She said something a know. little later, and that's why she got paid off. We know she said something because she got paid off. Mm-hmm. How are you going to say? You're talking about proof. There was the proof. Mm-hmm. She said something. They had a conversation. His lawyers gathered up whatever they needed. That money they ran paid out. her off. That money ran out. That so money ran out. she did say something. The money but ran out. But anyway, as I was saying, <laughs> I don't think that he should do time in prison. That's just my opinion. No, I, think I think house he arrest. Do time in prison. Why? Because. No. Because. Okay. Anybody else would. Okay. As Anybody say, else would. If I got caught at 80 years old right now, and I, I'm sorry, and 
if I got caught at 80 years old or some things that I did when I was 60 and it caught up to me and I did the, I did the crime, I should do the time. Ain't going to be no different. They're going to put me in jail. I think. I think what? Well, yeah, you're definitely going to jail. <laughs> right. So I why think, should it be any different? Why I, should it be any different from okay. Bill Cosby? Just because he was on mm -hmm. TV? No, it's not because of the fact that he was on TV. It's because of the time lapse. I'm not saying that he shouldn't have a punishment. If she came out sooner, yeah, give him all that time. But she waited a certain length of time before she did this. So why should he have to pay all, uh, in prison and because she waited? Because she wanted to tarnish his, his, his image. At all, you know. So no, that's why I don't agree with. It. If she did it right away, right then, yeah, give him all that time. But come on, he's why? not getting the time that he's supposed to get. Like sixty women supposed to have came out. Half so. of the celebrities now don't right. get the time that they're right. supposed to get. Right, and that's and that's. I feel bad about that. If I get caught drinking and driving, I'm going to jail, straight to jail. Yeah. But and somebody then, else, I got money that's on TV. And then another thing I think about. As well, is if he was still doing it right now, then yes. He, we don't know. If he was still doing it right now, then he needs the maximum or whatever. Because you do still have, and I don't want to call Bill Cosby old, but that's just mm -hmm. it. You do still have some old men that are around here doing, still doing stuff that they did way back when, and they've gotten away with it for so long. Mm -hmm. And so now it's, it's, it it's, catches it's, up it's with them. And yes. But it's, it's part it's, of their culture. It's, exactly. It's a habit that they cannot break. But it's not right. Well, I don't. And when he did these crimes, he was like sixty some years old. He was. Some of them were when he was younger than yeah. sixty some years old. But I'm just saying. But so, I'm, so he knew what he was doing. That's that's okay, my point. He knew what lady, he was doing. The lady from 2004. It's about time they caught. Okay. And I then, love Bill Cosby. I love. Wait him a minute. Now. Listen to what I'm saying. The lady in 2004. Each radio or news broadcast I hear, it, I, it seems like that's the one he got the time for, because that's the one he could, because of the statute of limitation. So I, I, I'm with you on that, but I still don't feel because isn't that the one that went back to his house even after the fact? Yeah. Okay. So. No matter what she did, if he, yeah. I mean, I'm just saying. I, I mean, mean you, I, you, I, I hate the. I don't want to see him go down, but as. When you go to law and what's right, I don't care if she was coming back to your house. I don't care what she was doing. You didn't have to drug her. If that's what she was doing, you didn't have to do it. Okay. She was already back. coming to but your house. But let me go back to the drug part. Didn't you say she knew, she willingly knew that he was, that she was yeah, taking Yeah, I'm reading an a excerpt right now from the disposition okay. um, of 2005 and 2006, and it says, uh, Mr. Cosby was asked to talk about his relationship with Beth. She's one of the uh, women who accused him of drugging her. And uh, she stated that in the mid-1980s, after a brief consensual affair, which means they were already having consensual oh. sex prior to his oh. accusation. I just want to throw that out there. So after a brief <laughs> consensual affair with the entertainer, she met him one day uh, before a performance in Denver and allegedly drank some coffee that made her feel woozy mm -hmm. and woke up in the car mm -hmm. with her clothes a mess and her bra undone. Wow. So Bill was taking her out to the car. Okay, but... Wow. And she still went back after all that. Mm -hmm. See, so that's they, where I have a problem, right there. Why <clears throat> did she... If she knew it, she woke up in the car, that's like that's like a rape... I mean, can I say that? That's like a rape victim. A person that well, that went through, but then wait a minute. But then they want to holler rape, but don't go to the authorities. But then they go back to the same person, do the same thing, and then finally they feel bad, and they go holler rape. Help me to understand. Am I am I saying that wrong? Is that not the same thing? When something happens to you and you know it and you don't feel right, but you keep going back to it, who who's the, who's the blame? Who's at fault? Well. The thing that's clear to me is they have a sexual relationship. Okay, so why is this man getting ready to do time and they had a sexual relationship? They call it sexual relationship then, we call it maintenance man now. Mm. <laughs> so all all of us that I've only done it once, I don't, I don't do it anymore, I did it once. Mm -hmm. So I can go back now and say that my maintenance man did this to me because I woke up at his house on a Sunday morning after he had cooked me dinner and we had some drinks. Oh, so now yeah, I can I can go back to Augusta and say that he did this to me? Because that's basically what you're saying. All depending upon how much money you got. And how money, you got. No, money don't that's, have nothing to do with it. No, in the, in the court of law, they're not going to always look at the money. 
what we're looking at now is the question of sexual relationship is in the notes, sexual relationship. So can I now go back and say that me and this guy I was having sexual relationship did this to me? I woke up at his house. Can I do that? Yes or no? I can, mean, I feel like can you can, you can always say it. You can always bring it up, but it's just like, well, what are you looking for with that information? Like, are you looking to harm him? Like, what was the purpose of bringing it up? Exactly. And and um, my dear friend, um, you, you said it's funny how our people bash one another. Nobody knows what happened. N no, nobody really knows A through Z or what happened, but court documents she's excuse me she's the one that wrote and said some of these things so she's given us what she wanted us to know and the first thing in the matter is if like I just said if I was to say I was with this person I went over to his house I woke up and then all of a sudden I want to go to the courthouse eight years later now and say um well he did I woke up and I don't remember anything that happened so I believe he did this to me come on that's the same thing. She knew what she was doing. I, it goes back to what we said in the beginning. It was a setup. And the money ran be out. it as it's made. Yeah. It's, the money ran out. That's what it but makes that's that's what her, it sounds like. But that's, that's, that's her fault. Like the money ran like, out. Like he gave her how much out, money? So now I need a little bit more. Uh, it didn't say exactly, but uh, it also it spoke about how uh, the conversation was based on her career and what she wanted to achieve. So to me, what that says is she was exchanging sexual favors for promotion. Mm, little prostitute. Exactly. With so you still that, okay? Oh, little prostitute. Okay. With the understanding that their relationship was strictly sexual mm. anyway, like it says, we mm. had several rendezvous. That's all we See, did. Don't get into that business. That business is. Ooh. So now, okay. So now, what you hearing this? Has gotten. She's a very. She's done well in the profession. So do Sell you still money. so do you still have that same train of thought that you just had five minutes ago now that you're yeah, hearing this but, right here? But I mean, wait, wait, wait a minute, no. Still, I, wait a minute. No, I still stand on Fred, the point he I don't have. I need yes or no. Okay. I need yes or no. Do you still have that same train of thought that you had five minutes ago after hearing him read what is court documents? Yes or no? It's yes no, or no. Okay, but thank you. I was not trying to throw the man. What I'm saying, what I was saying is, no matter what you do, you don't have to take it. That's that's what. And if you take, and if you took it, however you took it, forcefully, drug induced, you're wrong, wrong and you need to go pay <laughs> time for your crime. That's all I was saying. And I get that. that I'm, I'm not taking I'm away from, from, from that. That's, I'm, that's, I'm definitely and please anybody that's watching or will go back and watch. I'm not taking away that he does not need to do yes. time. I'm not taking away the fact that he was and wrong. I, what my point is today is women need to take fault in their own oh, actions. Most, most definitely, because she shouldn't have been up there. You First know, of all, uh, he's a married man. We, we just need to do that, point blank. On TV. Yeah. That, hey, this is Bill Cosby. And nine times out of ten, I'm going to have to do something a little strange. She knew that from the start. Do I really <laughs> want to do something for that. some something? And that's how it goes down. And that's the part of the business that you have to stay kind of focused and away from. You know, because it's those type of pitfalls. It's and those it type of women that's out there that's doing it and makes it look bad. And the sad part is karma's for, gonna come back. Karma well, is right now going she's to about come to back. die anyway, and she's dying rich. So that karma, if it does come uh, back, unless it happens it's gonna come back. immediately, it's really not gonna affect no, it's not gonna, TV it's, crying. It's not gonna come back. She's, she is she's milking gonna have it for to do everything that is worth. That. Then, then it? people are talking about well, why Bill Cosby. Uh, why hasn't he made a statement? You know, the lady got on TV and she was talking about this, that, and other. And it's like, yo, and she's milking it. She's doing what she has to do. She's getting this bread. She's getting book deal. She's getting on Oprah, Ayanna. Ayanna Van Zandt. Yeah. She's getting on, she's going to get a, um, a Netflix special. They're going to go to a lot of I mean, different well, places. Well, that, that happens in today's world. What you about to say? Well, something else that I've noticed is it doesn't take much to get aroused out of the masses. All you got to do is get on TV and cry. Give that's, some heartfelt story. And that's what and she's doing. The rest of the world is backing you. A hundred years ago, Bill Cosby kissed me on my neck. It's paint me. <laughs> All this time, I couldn't run and tell nobody. Nancy Reagan, nobody. And now that he's blind, I feel like I'm going to take his money because he don't need it anyway. See, it, it, each time I went to 
think of what I was about to say. It just went somewhere. <laughs> <laughs> But Where's I the mean, rest of them? Why the rest of them ain't got charged yet? Uh, that, that's my other question. I feel sorry for you, Bill. Okay, boom. Uh, let me let me hit it while I'm thinking about it. And then we, as uh, Barry just said, you know, we bash other people. But we're, the man is going to prison. The man is going to prison. Someone. Now we worried about his mug shot. He looked emotionless. <laughs> How do y'all want him to look? Right. What do we right. really need to say? He was convicted beforehand, before he even went to court. Now he's went to court and he has to do time. What do y'all really want him to say? He, if he, I feel like, to me, he did the right thing. He didn't get up there. He didn't try to say anything. Maybe he could have apologized, but he didn't apologize. And at the end of the day, you might not like this neither, but who he has to answer to is God. Yeah, so if he's no made his God. peace and he's asked God to forgive him, job well done in that area. You yeah, messed up over here. Good. You messed up over here. I'm sorry you messed up over here. I, like I said, I don't agree with what he did. I think he needs to do time. I just think at this age, because the lady waited so long, he could be at home. Don't go nowhere. He got. He has enough money. The he doctors can come to him. So that that's my point of view on he it. He don't go nowhere now. It just is what it is. I'm just. I, I don't. I don't get it. I, I want him to. I just want him to get and to give him thirty days just for all the fly stuff he was talking about. Young man, you gotta get out here and get get on your feet, mm -hmm. get a job. Let him feel like okay, because Bill Cosby at one point was very critical of young black men that had felonies and young women that had um, extensive children out of wedlock and all that, and didn't realize that you know the decisions that you make may not you know at that point understand, but you have to stand behind them. And you being a prominent black man, um, especially from the 60s, doing what you did, um, how you could ever get out here and just bash the community that somewhat supported you, that's, that, that's the part of the karma that I feel like now you have a felony. Okay, let me, let me address something you just said. Ooh, did I mess um, up? No, 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 you didn't. You didn't, you didn't. Okay. When American Dad. Okay, let's look at this. In, in, in the household, some of the households today, you have some men now to this very day that beat up the mother in front of the kids, sell drugs in front of the kids, but they still teaching their, their child, pull your pants up, go to school, get your lesson. Bill Cosby did the same thing. I'm not saying he was right, but... Let's but, look, but, but, but because y'all is everybody so man, quick to say, that wait that a minute, does that, let me finish. Does it within his household, but, it but get it doesn't matter. It doesn't matter where you do it. I'm not you, you, that, but okay, it's because not, it's, you're, not it's either you're going to be right completely, or you're not going to be right at all. To me, if you're going to call, you know, everybody said he's American dad. He's American dad. He didn't ask to be put there. Just like Whitney Houston, when they put her on a pedestal, she didn't want to be put there. Yo, Y'all put him, no, gave well, him no. the name as American Dad. Well, you but American you have dad. fathers around here now and kids say it. Well, my dad did teach me how to do this, this, and this. But I saw my dad go out here and sell drugs. I saw my dad beat my mom. I saw my dad, you know, we go to the store. He took his whatever, they're the negative side of it. But then he has a positive side. So while Bill Cosby did what he did, and y'all call him American Dad, we still have well-known black men that, walk out their door every day, look good, dress good, smell good, but in the house, they're doing some of the same stuff, but they have titles. So what's the difference? Bill Cosby got caught. Bill Cosby was wrong. But at the beginning and end of the day, my opinion before we close is that she waited too long, and th those ladies waited too long, and then the lady accepted the money, went behind, uh, went back on her word, spoke about it, and then the proof shows that you were in a sexual maintenance man relationship. Yeah, she was wrong. I don't care who mm -hmm. disagreed with me. She oh, was well, wrong. I'm not saying that she was right. Period. Yeah, I'm not. And again, women, we as women need to learn how to take ownership of our own faults. Women's world, y'all can call it what you want to call it. That's just my opinion. Take ownership of your own situation. Stop Blaming in this case, both of them were wrong because he was married. He shouldn't have went out that boundary. He knew what his platform was. She was wrong because she knew he was married, and then she continued to go. So both of them are wrong. And now in the end, yes, he's gonna pay the ultimate cause for it. He's he's gonna pay. So that's where that's where it begins, and that's where it ends for me. 
And I, that was my point of doing the show. Like I said, I normally don't get into it. It could get heated. It could go in all other directions than where I want my show to go. But from Kimberly, I'm real in my own words. Those are my thoughts. Mm -hmm. And I just think she was wrong. Don't accept my money. Say you're going to keep your word, mm -hmm. keep it close, and then you go back and then all these 60 or 59 other women mm -hmm. jump on the bandwagon yeah, with you. gave her the inspiration. And mm -hmm. some of them women, you ain't going to tell me he did 60 women that way. I don't mm. care what you say. I don't, I, he might have did some stuff. The 60s was a different time. I, the 60s, just like the 90s was a different what's time. The, what's, the, what's the man that did the show? He was all from All of us should be in jail. I if you tried to get a little something with trying to, hey, you want to drink? Would you like to smoke a little something? All of us need to be in jail. Because that's what it is. If, that, if that's what they're claiming them of doing, it makes you woozy. It makes you do things that you didn't really want to do when you first got over there. We all should be in jail. Where do you put the limits on it? Where? I mean, I... But, I mean, you know, Bill, you shouldn't have did it. You Thank you, Courtney. It. I appreciate it. Okay. I hope I ain't get to seeming like... No, I mean that. I love Bill Cosby. No, but see, I, really do. I already knew how you were gonna. I already knew how you were gonna come, but that's why I let you come and say what you had to say first, and then he followed up with the information that he had. Mm. And so once you heard the information that he brought to the table, it's a Mike Tyson type thing. I don't you, really you, know. I'm not saying you change your train of thought, no. but you kind of thought the way of you know a mm. little bit. So th that's what the show was all about. So I no, you didn't come off negative. If they took it that way, that's them. I just don't I, I think, think I got daughters. Went, you, you no means go. no. You don't remember that slogan? Yeah. Yeah, no means no. No means no, but no can't man. mean no if you're in a sexual relationship and you keep going back. You're not yeah, saying no. You can't keep going back. Right. Yeah, you you can't keep, first of all, you got to leave that where it If it started with payment, that's where it should stay, mm -hmm. with payment. Okay. Point and simple. No, you won't get the payment, then getting to knowing folks, and then next thing you know, you're drinking and hanging on out. No, it's payment. Put the payment down on the little dresser. Do what you got to do. Stay in a side chick place, point mm -hmm. blank. We're going to leave it at that. <laughs> thank, you so, thank you so very much for please. tuning in. I appreciate all the comments, um, those of you that took the time to share, I uh, mean, to tune in today. And I will say, if you don't mind, since it's a hot topic, uh, if you don't mind, please uh, tag and share the post, the, the, the show today. I would greatly appreciate that. And we're going to end right quickly with closing remarks and where you can find these two gentlemen if they're doing anything spectacular in the social media world. Okay, you go first. <laughs> I just say I'm D Red. Thanks for having hey, me. Hey, I'm. Hey. <laughs> go ahead. He, 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 go ahead. Man, uh, I, I just want to say thanks for having me on the show today. Yeah, yeah, and, yeah. Uh, really. Please be sure to follow me on Instagram at Smooth God Trapier. I repeat that is Smooth God Trapier. I don't really know my social media, so. Um, <laughs> But thank you for thank you for inviting me. This is this is great. I had a great time uh, talking about Bill. Um, you can find me around town. Um, what's I, your What's your Facebook? The Red Diggy. Yeah, um, I DJ and do um, all different types of entertainment things. So I mean, I mean, I know I'm acting a little silly right now, but I'm I'm happy for you because we're in this we're on this platform right now. You're doing your thing, and I appreciate you for real. I, I really do. So um. You know, let me be serious for a second. So, um, yeah, my name is um, The Red Diggy, The Red Dog, uh, Bugging Out Radio. You can catch me anywhere and everywhere. Um, we have parties, bar mitzvahs, uh, divorce parties, wedding parties. Um, yeah, we do divorce getting parties. Getting out of parties are lit. <laughs> I, I had one, VIP and all. I'm gonna, okay, I have to go, but I want to give a shout-out to um, – Isis Atlanta Restaurant and Lounge. I forgot to do that last week. It's a friend of mine. I went and tried the food. It's across the street from South Lake Mall in Jonesboro on Mount Zion Road. So if you're out in that area, he has a week planned of $2 Tuesdays and all kind of stuff. So check it out. Isis Atlanta Restaurant and Lounge. Thanks again for tuning in. We'll be back next week. Same time, 10 a.m. Facebook Live, 108 Praise Radio all other social media outlets. Thank you. Have a blessed week and see you next time.